Hey everybody, what's going on? Back with a new video. As I mentioned in my previous video, where it was my Spotify reaction video, again, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I briefly discussed that I started a new series, and I'm very excited to have this because it's been on my TBR for some time. And again, this is one that, you know, some people may not like, or some people may like, depending on if they like this author. And it is Dean Koontz's odd thomas series so again odd thomas this is the first book in the series again the books in the series are not very long this book is actually just under 400 or might be just over i can't remember right off the top of my head but this was actually a really good book to start off with again we're diving into dean koontz's series and now if you're a hit or miss with dean koontz that it's all up to you i actually enjoy him there's some books that i could you know live without you know some of his new stuff he's coming out with i just feel like he's just He's churning out books left and right, and again, props to him for doing that, but I don't know, some of them are just not really, you know, engaging me or enticing me into that. So this series, I'm looking forward to. Again, this first book hit it off. I loved it. It's a great one. I can't wait to discuss it with you, my friends. So in this series, specifically this book, we get introduced to who Odd Thomas is. And yes, Odd Thomas, his first name, Odd, that is his actual birth first name. It gets into the book a little bit about the details. I don't want to give too much away, but yes, his name is Odd Thomas. Odd Thomas is a 20-year-old short order cook and he has a special ability he is able to see the dead the ghost apparitions whichever you want to call them and he has a special capability where he uses it to again solve these crimes this whole series is a paranormal thriller series by dean coons it's very interesting from this way to start off odd thomas has these friends along the store that know about his capability about seeing the dead they don't look at him any different because of this capability but there is this one woman in there named stormy and this is kind of like a love story in a way not one of those smutty love stories or any of those fantasy stories but there's this love heart connection with stormy and with odd Thomas. What I really enjoyed about this book, and again, this is actually starting in the second book as well, it is in first person. Now, if you haven't checked out my book, My Next Door Obsession, that is actually in first person as well, so if you have not, I'll leave the link for that as well. Reading a story in first person actually really helps you dive into the story and, you know, engage with the characters like as if you are in the book itself. Odd uh, Thomas comes into contact with many characters in this, one of the characters being named Ozzy Oswald, they call him Ozzy in the story. He is a mentor for Odd uh, Thomas, and again, he helps him along the way with certain decisions and there's a lot of memoir writing actually in the book he had states that he is doing a memoir writing that's why it is in first person and then there's another character he gets kind of close to and you know has a good relationship with and that is chief porter the head chief in the town called pico mundo that is where this story takes place so as odd thomas sees these ghosts or these apparitions he is also obviously seeing kind of run into a character named elvis so it's just kind of funny they bring elvis into this book where he sees them there's actually these ghosts called bodox they mention that in the story that's what odd thomas calls them these bodocs are like if you want to think of like if you know about harry potter if you think about the dementors and harry potter if you are a harry potter fan that's kind of like the similarity of what a bodoc is in the odd thomas series so he sees these it, they're always around death they're always around you know trouble that's maybe about to happen so he has to figure out what is happening with you know following these bodocs he has something he calls in the story psychic magnetism where he gets this little urge and it leads him to where maybe trouble may be occurring or it's about to occur so he gets these little niche in like in his head about where to go and where to follow and what path to follow based off these Bodocs. Now he comes in contact with this guy who's kind of like, you have a bad vibe to him. His name's Robertson. You know, he kind of feels like Odd Thomas is either following him or the Odd Thomas is kind of feeling like he's following him as well. So it's just like back and forth, but it doesn't last very long because Odd Thomas comes back to his apartment one day and he finds that there are certain things out of order and there's certain things that weren't there when he left. So he's actually being framed for something, but he has to figure out who is trying to frame him throughout the book. Now as all this is taking place again he is still you know living his life you know as a short order cook but then he's also taking time off work to try to figure out this whole thing while also keeping stormy safe because that is the love of his life in this book and he just wants to obviously figure out what is going on he doesn't want to get the people he cares about in danger so he's trying to not push them away per se but he's trying to figure this out on his own so he keeps everyone safe out of the picture now i'm not giving away the ending but the ending is very touching you know there's some sadness to it but there's some closure as well which actually leads into the second book in the series which is called forever odd i'm actually reading that right now so to start off this paranormal thriller series i'm enjoying it a lot i give odd thomas the first book five stars right off the back easy to follow along which i really enjoy because sometimes dean Koontz 
Along with Stephen King, I'm not comparing them because, again, Stephen King is my all-time favorite. But Dean Koontz will have great moments. He has, like, the books I recommend. Actually, I have a Dean Koontz video. If you haven't checked that out, I get my, you know, books about what I've read by him. My, you know, my kind of recommendations of which ones to read. And it's kind of like in, like, the early, maybe mid-80s to 90s era where that's actually is really good stuff. The way he started off this Odd Thomas series, I'm loving it. I can't wait to read more. Now, if you love thrillers, especially paranormal thrillers, I highly recommend, especially reading the first book i still have to get through the rest of the series which there's like seven books in the series or something like that again there's like i can't remember the number off the top of my head but i'm really interested to get into this all right everyone that is it thank you for stopping by remember spread the word of my channel all my viewers and subscribers and friends you keep making my channel better and better with each person who subscribes and joins and views my channel again spread the word again i can't thank you enough i'm almost at 700 subs little by little i'm getting there and i can't wait and like i always say my friends please Read your book, cover to cover. We'll see y'all later.